This week in the Missouri Senate, we review work of the Senate Interim Committee on Utility Regulation and here, Infrastructure in Investment. Arena is, okay, so how much of those subjective decisions should be turned over to the Public Service Commission? Formation First of this panel comes after several utilities-related measures were discussed at length in committee hearings earlier in the year. Not much time was spent on them on the Missouri Senate floor, though. During his final hearing on October 25th, committee member Senator Gary Romine of Farmington told the panel he believes regulatory lag increases add to costs. He also says the Missouri Public Service Commission needs to stay in place. If we do modify some of these tools or add these tools, it still needs to be a decision to be made whether or not it is the proper usage of that tool. Because if we're going to have economic development in Missouri, we've got to make sure we have an attractive utility rate. It is one of the top three that any company looks at when they want to establish an operation here. Senator Scott Stiffson of Afton adds lawmakers see these types of bills practically every year. I can't look back on what's happened in my term in the Senate, my term in the House, and say that we've been terribly productive legislatively. So from the process standpoint, I would probably rather see us work more on the floor on this and less in committee. I only say that because it seems like by the time we get to the strike zone on this in the Senate, it's already over. Incoming Senate Minority Floor Leader Gina Walsh of Bell Fountain Neighbors also says infrastructure improvements have been getting better over the years. But when I look at this committee and I look at this issue, and I don't think that we're much further ahead now than we were then, but I think we need to move forward and we need to move forward early in the session and to make it a priority for the Commerce Committee. Committee Chair Senator Ed Emery of Lamar says much of the panel's time was dedicated to performance-based rate making, shortening delays, and other regulatory reforms. Reducing regulatory lag by reducing the time lapse during a rate case. I'm wondering whether there are particular approaches to regulation on any level, water, gas, or electricity, that caught your attention that you think you would like to speak in support of, or were there those that you absolutely are in opposition to? The Senate Interim Committee on Utility Regulation and Infrastructure Investment is one of several groups that met during the interim. All of these committees could turn their recommendations into potential legislation that could be debated during the next legislative session. The first regular session of the 99th General Assembly will officially begin at noon on Wednesday, January 4th. In the meantime, pre-filed legislation received bill numbers on December 1st. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of pre-filed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting for the Missouri Senate, I'm Dean Morgan.